Exporting and importing solutions within the Power Platform will only apply schema changes, but sometimes you might want to migrate the data within your tables as well. In this video, I'll show you how to do this. So I have set up two Power Platform environments. I've got a dev environment and I have a production environment. I have the country solution in, in both of these environments. And within this country solution, there's just a table called country. So inside the dev environment, uh, this table is uh, populated with a list of countries, whereas within the production environment, this table is, is empty. I like to treat this as a reference table. So what I'd like to do is migrate the data from the dev environment to the production environment. The easiest way to do this is to use the configuration migration tool. So I'm going to assume that you've got the the pack CLI installed. And if you do, you can just type this command at tool CMT and it'll open it up. So the first thing we want to do is create a schema, which is just a file that defines what you actually want to export. Let me log on. And I'll select, select the development environment. Then I find the solution, add the table, and then I click on save and export. This will allow me to save the schema. I'll save it here. Hit save. So I'm going to click on yes here if I want to export the data as well. So I'm going to save the data in a file called data.zip. Click save. And now I've exported the data. So to summarize what's happened so far, I've got two files. I've got the schema.xml file, which defines what data I've extracted. And I've got the data.zip file, which has the actual data in it. So now I can import this data into the production environment. Click import. This time I'll pick production. I'll find the data.zip file. And then I import. It's done. So if I just refresh this page, you can see that the data is now in the production environment. So this is just a quick video to show you how to do this, but just a couple of final points. You can run this over and over again as your data changes. It'll create new records if they're not in the destination environment. It'll also update existing records if they do exist, but it won't do deletions. So say if I'm in the dev environment and I, and I deleted the United States, okay? Running this tool won't actually remove the United States from the prod environment as well. I would actually have to go and manu manually delete it from prod. Uh, another thing is that this is a manual way to do it. And although it works, if you are working on a longer term project uh, where you might want to keep this data synchronized, you might want to actually add this as part of your DevOps pipeline. So it is just an automated step you do for every release. Uh, and perhaps in a future, future video, I'll demonstrate how this can be done. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, thanks for listening and please give this a like if you found it useful.